Welcome back to another episode of Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back once again in Oyama, Japan. In fact, they got the red carpet for us. Look at this. Welcome to Oyama. And for those of you who, well, first of all, we're going to make our first pickup, which is going to be some water. Definitely have water because only hardcore maniacs are going to come out here in this heat. And believe me, it is hot. And what I was going to say, the Shinkansen does head up here. So if you have a JR Rail Pass, that's definitely going to help you out. And look at this. We got a lucky cat conveniently in front of the pachinko parlor but the interesting thing about it look at this it's a two-faced one kind of an interesting uh and a little bit creepy there but anyhow let's go ahead and make our way to the book off hard off combo we're gonna check out the junk we're gonna take a look at games hardware lots of hardware the showcase as well as soundtracks and guidebooks and we're also going to be going to the sudogaya a2 combo store and let's go ahead and start with the hardware and as you can see quite a bit of playstation 5 playstation 4 and all sorts of other good uh great hardware we're going to start here with this limited edition death stranding for 38,500 yen now the controller is available at the gyoda hard off for about 8,000 yen and that thing looks pretty cool and what else do we have here we got the final fantasy type 0 for 27,500 yen um, it's been a while, but I did see this a few months ago at a different store without the box. And then we have the Phantom Pain MGS5 for 27,500 yen. And as we saw, there's going to be quite a bit of PlayStation 4s here. 16,500 yen, 13,200 for this one here, the all-white model. Which isn't too bad for bad of a price there for, uh, for a freaking pre uh, PS4. But they got quite a bit. Look at that. And then um, amongst all the PlayStation 4, they had this Super Slim for 12,100 yen. And then up above, we had our we have our PS5s. Now, the prices that you're seeing in big and bold, uh, that's going to include the 10% sales tax. And I'm not sure if this store has a uh, tax-free, but it's highly likely that maybe they do. But 11,000 yen here for the Wii U, and then 5,500 for this Wii that includes two Wii Motion Plus controllers. And this is going to be one of the most beautiful um, consoles, in my opinion, which is the Xbox One Slim Edition. Look at this bad boy, 22,000 there. We got the Series S for 25,300. And then the original, we got a couple of those for 16,500 yen. And then down below, we got some racing wheels for the PS2, PS3, PS4. Quite a bit of them. Look at all that. And I'm not even showing all of them that, that they had on the sales floor. But here we have a clone system. What's this bad boy called? The Play Computer. The Play Computer Retro. Up above that, we have a Wii controller, Monster Hunter for 1,100 yen. Let's go ahead and go back to the hardware. We got some Game Cubes, 8,800 yen, and that's going to be for both or for each of these. Now, the box on this one looks a little bit rough. In fact, let's pull it out. And as you can see, there's a little bit of crushing going on. A little bit of a. Well, they're both about uh, a little dirty, but. You know, 8,800 yen. What do you all think? And again, the pricing, I'm going to leave that up to you guys because, uh, you know, we want to take a look at pricing and also other other uh, factors, you know, which is uh, how much inventory they have and the variety of inventory, inventory as well as the condition. So there's no point in going to a shop that's just going to be cheap but just has a bunch of like uh, junk games. But anyhow, we got a Mega Drive here for 13,200 yen. Look at the controller on this, the Mega Pad. Haven't seen that one before. Kind of a funky looking one and doesn't look uh doesn't look too comfortable but i could be wrong and then we have a playstation one this is a 7000 series for 5500 yen next to the old sega saturn for 8800 yen which seems a little bit steep but we have the neo geo arcade stick for 16500 yen next to an arcade another arcade stick and then we have the cockpit big shock 2 for 2750 i actually have this but i paid 500 yen for mine but that was already like a couple years ago that I picked it up. Now we are going to make our way into the handheld case. And as you can see, quite a bit of Switch action here with the Splatoon 2 version coming in at 22,000. I'm not sure what that one for 25,300, but we got a Wonder Swan for 11,000. This is going to be the color. And then some PSPs and some PS Vitas with the cheapest one coming in at 11,000. And the ones in the boxes are going to be 14,300 yen. What else do we have? We got a PSP Carnival Color for 9,900 yen. And then we have four Game Boy Colors with that Hello Kitty one being the least expensive. But that's not actually... I think those are just stickers from the previous owner. 
And then in the back, 8,250 for this Game Boy. What else do we have? 14,300 yen for the new 3DS. And then the purple one coming in at 11,000, the 2DS, which is a nice color. And then look at this controller for the Neo, Neo Geo PS2, 4,400 yen. And then we have a variety of more controller for a variety of machines. And look at this pink uh, DualShock 3. Kind of a neat looking color. And now let's go ahead and make our way into the showcase and we're going to see more PlayStation 5 and more Switch action. And look at this, uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 for the Game Boy Advance and the DS. That bundle is hardcore. What else do we have? Yeah, PS5 and Switch. And then we have a Game Boy Micro for 27,500 yen. And that thing looks pretty sweet looking. Definitely pricey though, but then we have Atelier Rise. Uh, 1 and 2 for 11,000. That could be PS4, PS3, not really sure. And then a few Amiibos. And then we're going to have some Pokemon action for the DS. Coming in at 6,380 yen. Next to that, we're going to have two um, um, Animal Crossing bundles for 26,400 yen. With one of them being severely sun faded there. And then we have some more limited edition uh, Switch action there. And then the Neo Geo Minis. Look at this, the Samurai Showdown Special Editions. 13,200 yen for the pair of uh, Nakaroru, whatever her name is. And then we have Dino Crisis, the fifth anniversary for 7,920 next to a top loader for 9,900 yen. So yeah, quite a bit of hardware in here. We got Real Bout and then up above that we have the Mickey and Donald Game & Watch for 22,000 yen. Definitely pricey. And then World of Illusion there coming in at 3,300 yen. Next to some Samurai Spirits for 4,400. And then we have this Game Boy Pocket business, 6,050 yen, Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi, whatever. Tama, Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi? Haven't seen that one be, before. But the PC Engine, 27,500 yen. We got this AV booster, which you could also get on Amazon. And then quite a bit of games. Look at all this. Now, we're definitely not going to see everything in the detail because it's just going to, we'll be here forever because look at all this stuff. But I want to say a lot of the games that they have is what you would expect to see, you know, like Ninja Gaiden 2 coming in at $16.50. Again, I'll leave pricing up to you guys because uh, pricing definitely means um, different things to a lot of different people. But we have uh, Yoshi's Egg there for $5.50, $8.80 for Super Mario Bros. 3. We got Chomakai Mura for the Super Famicom for $13.20. Dynamite The Las Vegas, haven't seen that title before. And then we have Poppin' uh, Twin Bee next to some Pac-Man action. We got Kirby. And then in the back, we have Goemon for 1,100 yen. And then an assortment of N64 titles with the least expensive coming in at 330 yen. But a lot of first party stuff here. Look at all that. And now we're going to make our way into the display case. And again, look at all these loose cards. It's just loads and loads of stuff here. But we got some Wonder Swan titles here. Got some Digimon, it looks like. What else do we have? We got this PSP title coming in at 7,920. And then above that, we have some Mega Drive titles, which the more interesting one is going to be this Mad Stalker coming in at 7,700 yen. But that could be a reprint. And I love the artwork to Sorcerian here. And we got some Mark III titles, some Fantasy uh, Zone there. And then we got this Windows 95 2000 release. Well, I'm not really sure what that is, but look at this Metal Slug Advance, 16,500 yen amongst some Pokemon uh, games there for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. A lot of Pokemon stuff here. But 64, the 64 gig PS Vita card, 9,900 yen. Metroid Zero Mission for 6,380. And then we have some more Pokemon games for the Game Boy Advance. Not really familiar with that, with the with the Pokemon games, but they sure do have quite a bit. Now for this area, definitely feel free to pause because it's just gonna be too much stuff to go over like individually. And I do like how they have all the memory cards there. But then we have Princess Peach there for 880. We have Tingle for 1,100. Tetris uh, DS for 330. That's not too bad. Now, they didn't have very many PlayStation 1 titles, but they did have Gradius Gaiden, uh, Thunder Force 5, um, R-Types 1 and 2 for 3,850, which is a great title. And then we have this PSP title, or this PS Vita title, but it's hiding a game in the back. And I wonder what game that was. 
But here we go. We got more Game Boy Advance. We got a Famicom title, YY World, or whatever it's called. And then we have Final Fantasy 5 and 6 for the Advance. Toy Story coming in at 6,050 yen, but it might be missing the manual. And then we have Rockman X for 6,600. Below that, we have Akumajo Dracula for the Super Famicom. It is sun faded and it is missing the instruction manual, which is why it's discounted. And then we have Double Dragon for 11,000 yen. Next to that, we have um, some Sailor Moon action for 5,500 yen. And then we have Dragon Quest 3, 3,300. We got some Splatterhouse uh, action there for 2,200. For the Famicom, we have another Akumajo, 2,420 next to Goemon for 1,980. And then we have two copies of Sin and Punishment. 6380 so the loose carts are definitely more expensive here typically the loose cart can be had for as low as 4000 5000 and then an assortment of game boy advanced titles that kirby one is actually really cool i believe that's a remake and then we have burning rangers for 4400 yen so that's a little bit lower than i'm used to seeing we got some sonic r and then below that we have macross for the old famicom for 4400 yen and what else do we have? Strikers 1945 Part 2 for 8,800 next to Metal Slug, which is severely sun faded for 9,900. And then down below, 2,200 for that Vampire Savior. And then we're going to have an assortment of Saturn and Neo Geo CD titles with a few PlayStation 1 titles like this uh, Rockman action here. And then down below, we have Galaxy Force and Sylphide. And then we have the memory cassette for the Super Famicom for 5,000. 500 yen definitely cool to see that one and in the box and then we have some more loose cards with final fight making uh, making an appearance in the showcase for 1650 and then we have rockman and forte for 3080 and then we have sakura wars uh what else do we have mario kart 64 for 1650 that's not too bad and look at this makeshift case for super mario bros 3 i guess we got to give them credit for the creativity there and that's coming in at 2750 and then we have Mickey's uh, Adventure there, Part 2. And this is the lowest uh, that I've seen it, actually. Typically, this game is more expensive. But the one thing that is affecting that game, as well as this one, is that when Hard Off Book Off resealed the games, it's a, they did it a little bit too tight. Because as you can see, the games are kind of bowing, which is, uh, which is definitely a shame. But 550 for Code Veronica here. And they had another one without the slipcover, which is more expensive at 880 but not a very large uh, Sega Dreamcast um, uh, collection, unfortunately. But we have D for 550. It's a great game. What else do we have? What is this? I don't think this is a uh, Toriko or Lunacy. I think it's, uh, I forget the name of that one. And what else do we have? We have Christmas Nights for 550. And it looks like they have two copies of that. And then we have uh, Virtual Fighter Remix for 550. I love that game. And then, I haven't seen this one before, The Mystery Hospital, RMJ by Bandai, published by Bandai. Then we have Eco and the Wanderer um, bundle there for $16.50. We got Mario Kart 8 and uh, Super Mario 3D World for 1,100 yen. And then we have Nights into Dreams for $5.50 for the Wii, Super Mario Galaxy for 800 yen. What else do we have? And then here we have a few overseas uh, editions for the Xbox One Call of Duty Infinite Warfare there. And then we have Outlast. I wonder how this game is. Looks like it includes three games in one. Looks like it's a first person like survival horror. Might want to try that one out. And then we have our GameCube titles. This Godzilla game coming in at $27.50. And then we have like a farming simulator for the old GameCube. And then Rockman 3 for $13.20. That's not actually too bad of a price. Definitely the lowest that I've seen it at. And then we have Rage Racer. This is a great racing game. Highly recommended. And then the Metal Gear Solid, the Legacy Collection. Look at that. Pretty good condition too. And then we have our PS Vita titles here down below. Now, they had um, Resistance and we'll take a look at it here in a second. I, I was meaning to pick this one up, but in all the madness in the recording, I completely forgot. But 1320, that's not too bad of a price. But you know, it's not really a big priority, so no big loss. We got Gran Turismo Sport there for 1320. We got Berserk here for the PS4. I have the PS Vita of one. And then we have Chibi Robo for 1,100 yen. That doesn't seem too bad. And then we have Be Beautiful Joe Scratch. I wonder how this one is. And then we have this Dinosaur Beasts battle game kind of an interesting one now let's go ahead and go into the junk section and at a glance 
it looks like it's going to be a lot of Nintendo hardware. We got this Wii for $2,750 and a whole lot of notes. We got $3,300 for the PS1, $5,500 for the N64, $6,600 for the Wii U, and then a whole bunch of bins with a whole bunch of games. And this big old thing, the twin sticks for the PS1. I got rid of mine because that thing's too massive. Now this Wii Fight Stick, 1,100 yen. This was a little bit tempting. And they had another one for the PS3 with the exact same uh, build quality and shell. But I decided uh, to leave that one uh, for this time around. And then we got a 3D circle pad and then a whole bunch of handhelds in the junk case. Look at all this stuff. Now with this stuff, you know, you can definitely... Um, well, first of all, look at that 2DS, uh, the Pokemon Edition, 6,600 yen, and it's going to have a dead pixel in the top screen, it looks like. But as I was saying, you can call a staff member. You could add, you know, point a few of these systems out. They'll turn them on, and you can kind of uh, go over it and see if you want to purchase it, which is the nice thing about you know coming to, coming to hard off. But 11,000 yen for that Game Boy Advance with the AC adapter. But look at all this. It's just quite a bit of stuff. And some of this stuff is just affected because, um, you know, slightly yellowed or it's console only, untested. So it's an assortment of reasons. And then we have a bunch of um, DualShock 4 controllers down below. And then up, uh, up above on the side, they had this old PC engine for 5,500 uh, 5, yen. And it does work, but it's console only and no warranty. Now let's go ahead and check out some soundtracks. Look at this. We got Res. 900 yen, 10% off, and it does have the OV card. What else do we have? Axelay, 10% off, and it's coming in at 10,000 yen. It is sun faded, and it is super expensive. And then we have Bam Vampire Hunter D. Now, I picked this one up. This is the original 80s pressing, and yeah, no regrets there. We got East, uh, Healing for 630 yen. So as you can see, the price on some of these is actually pretty good. We got uh, Initial D for 900 yen with a discount there. And then we have, what is this, Parodius, some Konami. Uh, for Sexy Parodius, maybe Forever With You. And then we have a Zill, Zill something. This could be the PS2 or PS3 release. release. And then we have Trials of Mana 3 for 2,900 yen. That's a pretty sweet cover. And what else do we have? Street Fighter 4, the series sound box. And that's going to have five discs. Wow, look at all that. And what do we have? Splatoon. Two, oh, Splatoon, that's kind of nice. Uh, 2,700. Now, this was the best one. Biohazard Orke Orchestra album. It includes music from part one, two, and three with a bonus track. I didn't pick that up, but it was definitely tempting. We have Dragon Quest two. Definitely a cool cover there. And then we have some Godzilla action, which they had a number of Godzilla soundtracks, as well as Studio Ghibli soundtracks. Look at this. 720 for Castle in the Sky. And they had Princess Mononoke what, for 630 with the discount, spirited away. So you can definitely get crazy here. Ah, a lot of good stuff. Look at this, 630 yen. And look at the condition. And now let's go ahead and make our way into the guidebooks. Now be careful with the guidebooks because for the most part, look at that, 200 yen. They're fairly inexpensive, but this is the kind of stuff that will weigh your luggage down or your backpack if you live in Tokyo so definitely or anywhere in Japan so definitely be careful because it is very very tempting believe me I only have I, I only have two guides uh, two guidebooks and I don't think I'm gonna be really um, expanding that too much just because of space but Parasite Eve 2 350 yen come on that's that's uh, that's definitely peanuts and then we have some Smash Bros but look at the one for the 3DS look how thick that is 500 yen, super thick, and it has a little bonus book with it. So definitely, definitely a lot of stuff. Dragon's Dogma for 1,600 yen. As a matter of fact, let's open it up and see what this is about. And as you can see, just a bunch of stats. That's some hardcore stuff there. But sometimes these are nice because they have like, uh, you know, like bonus artwork or posters. And they're just kind of, I, you know, I see the appeal to collect these, but just be careful. I'm telling you, especially if you're moving. And you have all these guidebooks, that's just going to make it that much worse. <laughs> Believe me, then that's uh, speaking from experience. But we have Echo Knight there for 750 Not really sure what that is, but, but it's a sequel to something. And then we have Animal Crossing for 473 yen. What else do we have here? We got some Final Fantasy 14 or 15 or whatever it is. 100 yen for Super Donkey Kong, for the Super Famicom. Look at that. Now, that one was tempting. I didn't pick that up, so if you find yourself here, that's probably still going to be there. 
and that one's definitely collector's worthy. In fact, you can frame that. Now look at this one. This one's beautiful. Zelda the Twilight Princess for 900 yen. Awesome cover. Look at that. And the original price was 1300 yen. But definitely cool. Now a lot of these, now and then we have Breath of the Wild, but a lot of these will have or are supposed to include an Obi card, so a lot of them are missing that. But we have Xeno Saga. But that's going to be it here. Now outside, we have some capsule toys. Don't forget about those because sometimes there are a few special ones. And look at this moon. It was so huge. It's hard to capture it you know, with video not having the proper lenses, but that thing was huge. And now we're going to make our way into the Surugaya, and we're going to pick up where we left off, and that's going to be with the guidebooks. Now, the selection here was definitely more in line with my taste. But look at this, Guardian Heroes, 1,800 yen. Now, in my hand, as soon as I walked in, I found a, a Vita game that I've been wanting for quite some time, which is Ninja Gaiden Sigma uh, 2 Plus. Great game. And then another Guardian Heroes guide. This one's a little bit more expensive for 2,400 yen. We got some Virtual Fighter action for 700 yen. And then we have more Virtual Fighter, which this one had a pretty cool cover of, with Wolf on it, for 550. And not really sure what that one is. Fantasy Star, original episode something. And what else do we have here? We got Shining Wind. Haven't played that one. But a lot of cool stuff. Look at that. Majora's Mask, 700 yen. And it does have the Obi card. But I'm telling you, that's going to weigh you down. We got Oblivion for 900 yen. What else? Uh, we got a Famicom Disk System title, 500 yen. That's an old school one. So they're going to have a lot of new stuff and a lot of old stuff. So definitely, uh, if you're into collecting, you know, definitely take your time while browsing. But we have Clock Tower for 2,400 yen. And look how this guy wears the sheath. I, I always thought it was an original, like, vamp. You too. Immortal. Type of thing. This is like Tactics Ogre, I believe. Kind of funny. And then we have Dragon Quest 3. And then Chrono Trigger, the perfect guide. Look at that. 1,400 yen. Now, some of these, as I mentioned, do include posters. So, man, that's... And th th look at the artwork on this. Wizardry, this thing is awesome. 1,300 yen. Not really interested in the game, but that cover art is awesome. And then we have a Nintendo 64 guide for 900 yen. That could be highly collectible for all you N64 maniacs. And then we have some Game Boy Advance Pokemon action. We have Sekiro for 2,200 yen. And that one does include like the Obi. And then we have some Kirby action here, 1,200 yen. This is going to be for the Switch release. So they have some new stuff here. And look at the size of this. Fire Emblem Engage, 3,000 yen. My goodness, look at that. And next to that, we have Pokemon Legends. Just so much stuff. Now, I did pick up a, a, a guidebook. Look at this. I got Luigi's Mansion for 200 yen. And that and that marks the... Actually, I have three guidebooks. That marks the, the third one. The second one. And then we have Eternal Arcadia for 800 yen. That one was tempting too, believe me. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some hardware. And we're going to start with the Super 32X. 26,800 yen. That's definitely the lowest that I've seen it. It does have the box, and it looks like it's just uh, marked down because it's old. Which, uh, hey, that I'll take that. I'll take that discount. But eighteen thousand yen for the core graphics. Now, again, pricing. I'm going to leave up to you because pricing means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, and it's hard to gauge it. But three, thirty thousand yen for this. Now, it is missing the DC coupling cable as well as the instruction manual. Normally, that's sixty thousand yen. So that's definitely. Uh, a considerable uh, lower price and then we have a number of Saturns we have the Knights one we have model 2 action we got this one coming in at 8,200 yen next to the model one for 9,500 yen and then down below we got a Sega Dreamcast for 8,900 yen now I want to add that the Surugaya this particular location is open until midnight and the book off hard off combo that that place closes a lot earlier and that closes at 7 p.m but you definitely don't want to be here till midnight because you'll definitely miss the last train and what are we coming uh that was 16,000 there for the mega drive 2 and then 9,000 there for the dreamcast and then 29,000 for the neo geo cd that looks fairly clean up above that we have a duo r for 30,000 yen with a few notes on there and then look at this. This thing is beautiful. 27,980. This is going to be a launch 20 gig PS3. Look at that. 
Oh man, I had the 60 gig launch, but the 20 gig one definitely had a better aesthetic. And then we have the Final Fantasy Advent Children Collector's Edition PS3 coming in at 20,000 yen, but it is missing the Blu-ray discs or disc. I'm not really sure, but that is missing, but the box looks fairly clean. And I'm pretty sure they would open that up if you wanted to have a closer look. But the Super Shinobi, let's take a look at the year 1989. And what do we have? Sonic 2 for 3,200. Next to that, we got Sonic for 2,300. And then we have Old Curse for 5,000 yen. That one was there uh, the last time uh, I was here. And we're going to take a look at the Neo Geo CD titles. But in the previous, uh, the last time I was here, it was spread across three episodes. And for the most part, some of the stuff that I covered in those videos are still present uh, today. At least at, the, at least at the time of the of filming of this uh, particular video. But 8880 for Last Resort there. And this place definitely had more of a variety than the book off, hard off combo. And I also want to add that walking to the book off, hard off is about 20 minutes. And walking to this location is about 20 minutes. The bad thing is they're on completely the opposite side. So if you go to one, you're going to have to walk like quite a bit. My goodness. But you know, I was walking in the evening at night and it felt good. Definitely a lot fresh, a lot fresher than it would have been uh, during the day. But KOF 97 there, 1,500 metal slug for the PS2 for 7,700 yen. Don't really see that one all too often. Then we have Wario Land 2 for 2,200. Definitely want to get that one. Then we got some Kirby, some Kirby pinball action there. And then Tiny Toon Adventures 2 for 7,000 yen. 7,700. I kind of want that game, but that's definitely pricey. And then we got some more Pocket Monster games for the Game Boy. And the pricing for these games are just kind of all over the map. And I think, I suspect that has to do with uh, due to condition. But look at that. 3,200 yen, 2,400 yen. And then here we go. We're just going to pan over this area. We're not going to go into it into detail just because I was running out of battery. I got the new camera. We're back to our original aspect ratio. And then we have Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 2 for the old Game Gear and Sonic Drift for 3,200 yen. And then we're going to take a look at some PC engine titles. We got Ballas there for 2,900, Space Harrier for 2,000. And then we have Garou Special. This requires the arcade card, which I recently got. And I'll definitely make a video on that soon. But I've been getting back into the old PC Engine collecting. Here's the one for the, the arcade card for the Duo models. And look at this. This is a little scandalous. 15,800 yen for Gradius 2 Gopher. When did that happen? But anyhow, we have Battle Ace there for the Super Graphics. We got some Twin B. We got some, what, that, what's that, Devil's Crush P47. I'm not really sure what that is. And we got some uh, sports titles. Quite a bit of sports titles, but whatever. Comes with the territory. You know how it goes. And let's take a look at some shooters. We got Gunhead for 9,300 yen. Then we got another release for 8,100. Salamander for 5,800. Then we got R-Type for 3,200 yen. And then we got some Tiger Heli action for 3,400. Or Bonk 2 for 7,300. 5,100 for Bonk. And then Champion Edition for 2,000 yen. And then Vigilante for 3,600. Superstar Soldier, 6,300 yen. And then we have this cool um, bundle of, what is that, Arkham Asylum. And then 13,700 for the Armored Core Verdict Day Collector's Edition. I paid 1,500 for mine. And then we have this Mercury Duo business for the this Vita Special Edition next to the Soul Sacrifice one. That Mercury Duo one, that's the first time I ever see that. Looks pretty cool though. Now, the Vitas, um, for the most part, they're a little bit... Some of them are more expensive here, but some of them are also less expensive. So, definitely all over the map with the pricing there. And then we got a PS Vita TV next to the Project Vita PSP for 40,000 yen. Look at that. And now we're going to make our way into the showcase. Let's go. We got the Tears of the Kingdom for 12,800. Uh, the Game Boy Color coming in at 8,000. 12,800 for the Advance. And then in the back, the CDZ, 63,800 yen. That box looks pretty generic, but awesome hardware. And then we have the 3D System Glasses for 6,500 for the Famicom. And then we have the This Is Cool or Mr. Bones Sega Saturn for 32,000 yen. But there is some notes there, so there's definitely something going on. 
48,000 for this, uh, this this Neo Geo. Look at that, 48,000. Last time I was here, a lot of this stuff, was, or the Neo Geo that I saw at that time was 40,000. 9,000 for the Mega Drive 2. This is actually the same one that was here when I was here last, and the price hasn't changed. 63,800 yen for this Neo Geo here. And it looks like it has two controllers, but not really sure there. But we have the core graphics for 6,000 yen. And then next to that, we got some Sailor Moon. And then we got an FZ1 3DO, 9,200 yen. That's definitely the lowest I've seen that. And then we have an adapter that will allow you to use Super Famicom controllers. And then just an assortment of games here. We got Rockman there for 5,000. And then up above, Akumajo and Cart Form for 37,400 yen. Sin and Punishment for 14,700 yen. And then we have Last Resort on the AES for 91,000. We got 41,000 there for Real Bout Special, 33,000 for 98 KOF. And what else do we have? 20,800 for Real Bout, uh, 12,800 for DuckTales there. And then we have this Pocket Monsters for 15,500 yen. And that was definitely the most expensive one. Kawabunga Collection, 11,800 yen. What's going on there? We got Majora's Mask for 11,000. And then we have a Game Boy Player for 3,500, but it's most likely missing the disc. And then we have the Game Boy Player controller in the back. And then 10,000 yen for the Toy Story, but this one does include the manual. We have a Game Boy Advance back there for 13,000. And then up above, we have some more Pokemon games next to a Shin Megami Tensei game for 15,000. We got Rolling Thunder 2 for 7,000. And then we have, I forget the name of that game and I have it. Uh, we'll have the North American release. But anyhow, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This is going to end the Oyama uh, saga. And definitely more content to come. So we'll see you soon. Ciao.